Well, hello and welcome to Jumadism Total Notary Channel. Today we will take a look at a SD card that's a little bit too good to be true. Well, hello and well, I bought this SD card online for around ten dollars and it's 256 gigabytes when I bought this I assumed it was fake but uh, you know for a small second a part of me thought maybe maybe it's actually real there is a small chance it is real and it's kind of cheap and well if it isn't the size it is I can make a video about how to check that and uh, well here we have it also of course I will be contacting the site I bought it from and uh, say that it's fake and that I want my money back of course in any case um, this little SD card around ten dollars is 256 gigabytes it's a huge amount for an SD card but there are SD cards that they come in that size. Uh, however, I checked online and real cards that have 200, 256 gigs um, they usually cost around $100 or 700 to 1000 Swedish crowns. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit, it's you know. Also, when you find a deal that sounds too good to be true, it usually is. The first warning sign when this little card comes with a little pack. You can see a little pack like SD card and this has no logo or anything but the card says Huawei. That's strange, that's a warning sign. Here we have a USB adapter and a micro SD adapter. Oh well, I'll be using the USB adapter Upon plugging this in, the D drive suddenly pops up. I immediately began to transfer big files to it. The first file is 40 gigabytes, and the second file is 90 gigabytes. But I kind of cancelled the process halfway because, uh, well, it was uh, too big. And I started to notice something very interesting. You see, this file, it's still 40 gigabytes on my main drive, it's suddenly 14 gigabytes here. The first files here are full folders, but if you go down here, you see it hasn't copied over anything more. These are just empty folders. So it's only the first folders that are full. And this is very fishy. Uh, so it seems that it removes files secretly when you overfill it. So uh, that's, um, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. And well, this is uh, 14 gigs plus 14 gigs. Um, how, how big can it be? My guess it's uh, probably around 32 gigs. Um, the uh, end size of this um, USB drive. Probably 32 gigs. Uh, because uh, at 32 gigs, that's where it starts to remove files for you. So yeah. Oh well, so here we are, the D drive going back, it says 143 gigs free, but of course, this is not true. This is not true in any way. And well, how do we do that? Alright, so to fix this we need to do some different uh, actions here. Uh, firstly, we need to know how actually how big the drive is. Uh, on some drives you can see it on the back side, the serial number can actually tell you that. But it can also be fake, so uh, you probably need this software. Uh, you can't do this with Windows, uh, so if you don't know the size, you need to test it and it's not included in Windows. But uh, H2TestW is a very reliable software when you use it, you can download it from here. Uh, but before we use it, we should pre prepare the drive a little bit. I deleted all the files. <laughs> you can see it still says it has files in it. This is of course very fishy. 
Uh, in any case, um, what we want to do is we want to change this to uh, NTFS. Just leave that as it was. And uh, we can click start. Yes. And uh, just let that run there. Alright, so the format actually failed the time and uh, then it uh, succeeded. So I guess that's a worrying, but it has the completely wrong size, so it's understandable. Alright, I just selected the D drive there. And uh, ooh. this is the uh, amount of uh, data we can test. Um, all available data. Uh, <laughs> It will take very long time, so um, I'm going to um, I'm going to get up a calculator and I'm going to test 40 gigs of it. So I just found the decimal amount there. Uh, okay, 40. It didn't want to accept the comma sign there, so we're just gonna test 40 gigs. All right. Write and verify. All right, and attention, only testing, blah, 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 total capacity. Therefore, the test will possibly not find all errors, but um, on the back side of my uh, USB drive, I did find that it's probably very likely to be 32 gigs because it says in the serial number and uh, when I tested to transfer files to it, it kind of started removing files uh, at 32 gigs. So, uh, you know, when testing 40 gigs, I kind of know for sure that uh, it will be able to test uh, it all. Uh, in any case, I'm just gonna do this test before we format it and resize the drive. This test takes like, uh, I don't know, one hour, it says there, to run, but uh, yeah, we kind of need to run it, so uh, just do something else while you let it run and uh, we'll be back soon. Alright, the test has been run. It uh, took a little longer than I thought. Uh, so one hour to write and then uh, four hours to verify. Uh, and uh, indeed, the results are actually a little bit surprising, uh, in a bad way. And uh, my assumption that the drive was smaller than uh, 40 gigabytes was completely right. So it was a good choice to not test the entire size. Um, however, I can see now that only 14.8 gigabytes is uh, okay on this drive, which means it's a 16 gigabyte uh, USB drive originally. Uh, so even though it looked like I was able to write 32 gigabytes onto the drive, I also <laughs> recorded the outro, so that's going to be... <laughs> and that's why you're not going to uh, say things before you actually know them. I was so sure it was 32 gigabytes, but no, it's 16 gigabytes. Here we can see 25 gigabyte lost. And you can see they're corrupted down there. So even though it looked like I could write all that speed to this uh, SD card, I have it in a USB adapter, but um, this SD card, micro SD card, it is actually. Even though it looked like I could uh, have 32 gigs of stuff on that SD card, it's actually only a 16 gig SD card. Yeah, so that's uh, sad. Alright, so this is an interesting uh, little disk I have here. Um, I've just installed the ease use partition and see if that works. Um, I did try a little bit here before. Here you can see in disk management too. Uh, you can right-click it. I try. I can reformat it to the same size, but I can't shrink volume and I can't delete the volume from here, uh, which can be pretty normal. However, if you go here, you should be able to write in list disk. Oh, if you go to command prompt and write in disk part, this window comes up. 
and then you can list the disk, select disk one, and uh, well, no, I browsed too much. Okay, Del oops, delete disk, and I can't do that. And I write and delete disk override. It can't be deleted. It's very weird. It's very weird. Um, so the plan is to try with this uh, other tool. Okay, I just fired up East Partition US Free Edition, um, and uh, well, what we're gonna do? It says it's unlocated. Uh, we don't need to wipe any data. It should be free. Uh, in any case, surface test, interesting. And I guess this uh, runs the same type of test we already did. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to very many new uh, things we can do. Uh, in any case, we're gonna create a volume on this and the partition size will be oh wait we ha even have it in uh, gigabytes here um, and well the uh, h2 test w said 14.8 uh, gigs so we're gonna be safe and say 14.5 all right, so um, we have to have <laughs> one part of it unlocated, but we actually succeeded on making a partition of 14.5 gigabytes. So uh, well, that's pretty interesting. It seems that it may be working. Cool. Okay, so. Uh, I can now do a update here, USB drive, F drive, cool. And um, I will test to transfer some files to this and uh, we'll see if, um, if it can keep them. All right, so I transferred file to it to fill up the USB drive and it seems to be useful. Uh, it seems to be usable rather. Um, I can read all the files I copied over and they don't seem to be anything wrong with them. Um, hard to guarantee though, I mean it's a little bit sketchy, we just <laughs> resized it uh, to the size of uh, what it's supposed to be okay. Uh, in any case, while uh, this was a very cheap USB drive, um, this is very cheap even for buying a 16 gigabyte drive, uh, the price I bought it for. But uh, considering like uh, four hours scanning it and all the work to resize it and all of this, um, I can only say it's, it's, not, it's not really worth it. It's not really worth the uh, wasted time to make this <laughs> USB drive work. So um, I'll definitely refund it. Um, it was advertised as 256 and it's a 16 gigabyte drive. In any case, now we found out that. So um, I hope this little video has been useful for you. And uh, now you can watch the less true intro. Outro, I mean, yes, I'm tired. In any case. Well, I hope that brought you some clarity on the actual size of your SD card. And well, if you bought a card that's not the size uh, advertised, you should ask for your money back. Uh, in any case, I hope this video helped you out. And uh, I'll see you in future videos. Please comment, like, and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jim Odes from Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.